Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll demonstrate how to back up ePlan parts databases for both Microsoft Access and Microsoft SQL users. Okay, first I should mention that whenever you are using ePlan, you really should back up your parts databases uh, frequently. You put an awful lot of effort into those databases to make sure that they generate the proper information on reports and that they deliver the proper macros to your designs and they report the correct uh, data sheets when you uh, do a part inquiry. So uh, you really do put a lot of time in those and you should really uh, make sure you back up those i would definitely say at least once a month uh, you know more frequently if you can all right so today i'll show you how to back up both uh, microsoft access and microsoft sql and i do this uh, uh, because the next the next video i'm uh, i have on tap is for importing parts from an excel spreadsheet into uh, these da databases and you should never, ever, ever use one of those uh, power tools to import data into an active production database. Always make a backup first, verify that the import was successful and that the data went where you thought it should be, uh, where you expected it to go, and then only then uh, reassign that database to be your primary production database, all right? don't ever do it live you'll be surprised you'll you know you'll miss one little entry and things will go crazy all right so for microsoft access of course it's just an mdb file you can simply just use microsoft explorer to copy and rename the database no nothing um, you know earth shattering there there is also a tool built into eplan that many users uh, are not aware of that makes a, I believe it's a ZW6 file, all right? And then SQL, um, whether SQL Express or SQL Server, requires tools like uh, uh, SQL Server Studio Management, I believe it is. Um, I, I'm i using the 2017 version. Uh, I have a SQL Server Express installation on my PC. I believe it's the same tool if you had a, a network environment. Now for uh, network environments, you would also have to have uh, admin rights on that server. And it's pretty common for ePlan users to have a, uh, a CAD admin who has admin rights on a server for a, t uh, a production database. But what is also common is that the IT staff will restrict that user uh, to not be able to create new uh, databases. And that you should uh, talk to your IT department about. You, unless they have um, uh, a, a system where they automatically create uh, backups every night, um, and, and even then, uh, you really need to have someone on your team that can manually go in there and create a, uh, a backup of that database at a moment's notice. Uh, a new job comes in the door, uh, the boss hands you a uh, an Excel spreadsheet with a list of parts. You need to get that parts list into the database so you can start building uh, the adding the information you need to support those parts. And it it, it can't be something that you know takes a uh, uh, you know a week to get through the IT you know to do list IT staff to do list. It can't be something that requires a you know, uh, staffing request and all that. So um, that is really important that you have that capability. So uh, I'll show you that those tools today. Uh, in the case that the uh, IT staff is uh, required to do all that sort of stuff, um, this video you could show that that the staff person how I'm doing this. It's pretty easy. They should already know how to do this if they're an, uh, a SQL admin. All right, so without any further ado, I'll get going and uh, show you how to do this. Okay, so today I'll be demonstrating how to back up your uh, parts data database using the default uh, location. 
Now the default location, of course, is the, uh, I'm referencing the system master data folder structure that is installed when you install ePlan. Now this could also apply to a production uh, system master data folder structure. Typically that would be on a Windows file uh, server or a remote server or on the cloud. Uh, I'm gonna reference my default installation on my C drive. That's where I have my, my demo uh, files. You're gonna be looking for an MDB file. That's the file extension for Microsoft Access. We can simply copy and paste that using Windows Explorer. This is method one. And when you paste it, uh, give it a new name or a rev number. Okay, so simple copy and paste. That's all you should need. Should be no further explanation required. All right. Okay, there are tools built into ePlan for backing up your parts database. Um, I'll go to my project, my, at the main menu, project, backup, and parts data. That's project, backup, parts data. All right, and when I click on that, um, if I'm connected to a SQL database, I'll get this dialogue. You're currently not using an access database. A backup can only be carried out for access databases. Well, I'll show you how to do a SQL in a moment, but uh, let me cancel out of that. Uh, let me go switch over my database to an access database. I have it here. All right. Let me quickly jump into the parts manager and verify. Okay, this, this one only has a couple of parts. That's okay. All right. So back to the main menu, project, backup, parts data. All right. Project, backup, parts data. Now at the top of the dialog, I should see the current path to the database that I'm using, all right? I should then down here in the master data window, see the parts database that I'm currently using, all right? So now what I wanna do is give it the, uh, the backup a name. Uh, I'm gonna call it demo parts 02, and then I'm going to assign it a target directory. Pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, I believe in my MLD folder, I have a subfolder called backup. All right, and that's it, okay. It's going to complain a little bit that I'm putting this backup in a folder location that does not match what's in my uh, user management directory settings, right? That's pointing at my company folder. So this is a subfolder, so it won't see it. Uh, that's okay, it's just a warning. I'm gonna say okay, and it's gonna run the backup, all right? So if I launch uh, Explorer, if I launch Windows Explorer and go to my uh, C user public ePlan data, my default location, where I, or where I told it to go, and I click on the subfolder, and in here is my, my backup, all right? And it's a, a compressed file, and it uses the file extension ZW6. All right, that's one you won't see very often. You'll only see it when you do a backup. So maybe new to some of you, all right? But that's it, pretty straightforward. So those are the two methods for doing a uh, access backup. Let me jump out of here and switch over to a SQL parts database. Let me jump into my parts manager and verify that I have parts, okay. This looks like either the grinder or the car wash parts are in here. So to create a backup in uh, for a SQL database, I have to have a tool called uh, Microsoft uh, SQL Server Management Studio, all right? And if I jump down to my applications and launch it, um, it'll ask me for my login credentials. All right, now I'm using Windows authentication. You may uh, be using, it's very popular if you have an IT group to be using SA or uh, what is it, server admin, um, uh, SQL admin, something like that, SA uh, authentication. All right, so you'll have to get that from your IT staff or if you installed it locally on your own machine, uh, you have that written down somewhere, right? So I'm gonna just go ahead and say connect, all right? And if you don't see this dialogue here, just hit F, your F8 key and it will it will pop that, uh, that 
uh, Navigator open. Now in the Object Explorer here, I'm going to uh, hover my mouse over the database uh, folder here and then double click to expand that. And these black icons here represent the databases that are currently on this instance, right? This installation of SQL, all right? In this particular instance, I want to back up this database named MLD1, all right? So I'm simply going to right click on that and select tasks from the drop down, and then I should see backup. So that's right click tasks backup. And when we do that, we'll get this dialog here. All right. I removed those. There was a, uh, by default, it will point to the default backup location on my C drive. I want to back this up somewhere else. All right. Uh, First, you'll be uh, notified which database or reminded which database you're trying to back up. I want to use a full backup. There's also the option of doing a differential backup. That can be handy if you're doing uh, the backups very frequently. It will use less space. All right. I'm going to back this up to a disk. Uh, apparently, you can also save it to a URL. Not sure how that would work. I'm going to select on my add button here. All right. And I'm going to click on the ellipses here and find a valid path. So in my case, it's going to be C users, public, ePlan, data, parts, MLD, and then backup. All right. And I'm going to give it a demo parts um, O2 or something uh, file name. Select OK and OK, and then select OK one more time to run the backup. All right, the backup of the da database was completed successfully. All right, great. Um, that's how you back up a SQL database. All right, uh, I can now close the management studio and return to uh, the next task. So in the next video, I'll show you how to bring parts into one of these databases now that you know how to back it up. Okay, great. Thanks for dropping by and I'll see you in the next video. If you're looking for help with your next ePlan project, please contact us here at multilinedesigns.com, your independent ePlan specialist.